So starting off up close and personal, I am going in with MAC Shadow Samoa Silk and I'm using my MAC 224 brush just to blend in a nice transition shade. It is really, really light and dense, but it does a job. And then next I am going in with my BH Cosmetic Crease Brush and Chickadee from Makeup Geek TV. I just love this and it's such a beautiful color and it's just going to go really, really well with the colors I'm going to use. So I'm blending that into my crease. Next, I'm going in with my Sigma 217 and Red Brick from MAC, and I'm just going to put that into my deep inner crease and just blend. It's just a nice, gorgeous color, and it can make any eye look pop, and it just does the job. So I wanted to use that to bring some vibrancy into my look. And then after that, I'm going in with a pencil brush, and I'm going in with MAC Brown Script just to give some depth into the crease, and then I'm just going to go in with another crease brush and just blend everything together and bring everything out. I didn't blend too much because I wanted to leave that depth in the crease but I wanted it to be blended out enough that it didn't look like you had too many harsh lines. Next I'm just going in with matte contrast and my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that came in with my palette and then blending, blending, blending. Then I will be going in with my Bare Essentials Flat Shader Brush and MAC Pigment in Quietly. It's like this really soft lilac color and just gives the purple, like, gives like a perfect hint of purple but not too much. And I'm not going above my crease because I do have folded lids and it will um, transfer up top. So yes. And then of course, prepping my eyes for falsies with my MAC, sorry, L'Oreal Voluminous. And then... Then I'm going to be going in with my LA Girl color and Royal Blue and NYX and Sapphire just to uh, fill in my waterline and then blend it out with that lilac color that I used previously and then place mascara on my lower lash line. Um, I just wanted this look to be really, really simple and have lots of color that meshed well together. Like I said, I didn't want to do too much blending because I wanted there to be depth and you to see the colors, but then I also didn't want any harsh lines. And then I'm just contouring my face with matte copper tone. It's a matte, really nice reddish brick tone blush that I use to contour. Then I'm going in with my Sharon bronzer. I'm just going to bronze up my face because I didn't want too much color since I had a lot going on with the eyes. But I'm just going to bronze and make it really nice and glowy and bronzy and everything. And then with that same Sharon's blush, I'm going to use the highlighter. It's just like this really beautiful iridescent pink gold shade and it gives the perfect glow. So I'm just using that with my Bare Essentials blending brush. And then I'm using my Mario Badesco Rose Water to set everything and give me a nice fresh face. Then going in with Too Faced Melted Peony, I'm just going to give a little bit of pinkness to my lips. And then I'm going to go in with NARS Turkish Delight and finish off the look. And that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.